Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn and this is going to be a reading for the tower moment. It's a tower reading. Um, <clears throat> I am Chandra Lynn. This message is general so take it how it resonates with you in your life, in your situations, in your experiences. Disregard the rest. Um, it's been a few months since I've been able to come on and do any readings or recordings and I have felt very called to come in and do tower like do readings and and have the focus on the tower moments that are occurring um it's uh It is a complete tower moment into a new life, like a complete new reality. Um, thank you. I know my recording and everything is um, not that great and I did get a microphone and everything. I just have not charged it. I got it the other month. Um, it's been um, Bottom of the deck is rainbow blessings. First card that came out was whale and breach and it's kind of thrown in the center so I'm going to keep it there. Then there's music and harmony for the first card out and then wolf and instinct. Um, so... Do, do I get any more cards? And so what I'm picking up is that like this tower moment has already occurred and um, I'm really disliking, let me see if that'll work. And this tarot, This tower moment has occurred. And it has like switched completely everything up, right? When it happened, it was like a shift into a new reality. It is a new, it is kind of like a new, it, it is a new life. Um, Like you are feeling it, like you intuitively know it's almost just kind of like scary about what you know, right? Um, because before everything happened and in an essence of why everything did happen was because this harmony, this frequency came into play, right? You anchored yourself into a timeline that you would much prefer than the timeline that you were experiencing and I know that for like a lot of readers and a lot of messages there's always an emphasis on like tower moment tower moment it could be just something that occurs emotionally or mentally not necessarily always something that kind of alters your reality your life this is a a change in life right it's like you finally were, you were able to withstand and stand in the energy that you um, had been working on and holding on to. And now that all of this has occurred, right? Because it's kind of like bittersweet. 
the tower comes down. There's some grieving and everything going on for that. But at the same time, there is continuous steps moving forward, but it is a complete new reality. So you're going on a lot of your instinct. Um, you're going on your instinct because even though this is difficult, there is blessings and you know that all the work that you had been and have been doing was for this vision that you and spirit promised each other. I get that it's a bit still like, um, there's a lot of using your instinct right now because with the tower, with the change, right? It's a completely new energy now, completely new, completely new energy. And, um, not everything is going with you from your old. Not everything is going to be able to come with you from your old. And you're also aware of that. Right now is a time for radical acceptance of the messages that you are receiving. Your own intuition. This reading is just to kind of confirm to you that you're doing good and you're on track. If it's so, um, if it's little personal share. Um, tower readings are what's really I've been feel really called to do um, because I myself in my life was picking up like something's changing something's big coming and you're going to want to stay close to home you're going to want to focus and just kind of enjoy your time at home and um, I really have been doing that Probably since um, the the summer solstice, um, that was when I really started getting the message loud and clear. And it was wonderful and it was great. And then um, about mid-August, um, about mid-August, like I was still getting that message, but there was indicators of like that change to come. And I ended up, um, because I had been... Like, I'm going into a whole personal share. All right, I'm going into it. <sighs> like, the whole time in between my readings and this last time, I've been working on getting better equipment and everything so that way I could really... I enjoy doing this and I enjoy giving readings and I especially love the fact that I can record them and then upload them and they're not in anybody's face and if it resonates or you feel called to watch it then you can watch it but there's really other than just allowing myself to speak and recording it and taking that little bit of time to upload it it's it's fairly really simple and um, it's really just kind of a beautiful way for me to work on trusting my gifts. And I say that because as I, my whole family has experienced um, a really wild tower moment, um, my husband of a little over 20 years, we were getting ready to celebrate our 21st wedding anniversary. Um, came down sick in early September and was hospitalized um, for an infection and then um, came home, took all of um, the antibiotics and everything that they were asking him to and I could like my intuition was saying mm, that that infection's not gone like it's still there and um of course you know everybody is you know a um sacred in their free will and with their body and everything. So I was met with a lot of, um, a lot of pushback. And, um, unfortunately for him, um, I ended up calling an ambulance for him on the 17th of November. And, um, 
the infection had spread so bad that it just started shutting down all of his organs. And he passed away on the 21st, early in the morning. Complete life changes, a complete different life. <clears throat> and for me, I've been having issues, and this is why Spirit wanted, I guess, wanted me to share the story, is... um. It's such a reality time jump that you're, it takes some getting used to because, well, two decades, I, all of the decisions I made, all of the choices, they took him into consideration, right? I didn't make a single choice. I didn't pick anything up for the house or anything without taking, well, what would he like to and all of that has changed. Like I'm no longer able to take into consideration what he would like. And I'm having a hard time with that, um, with that sometimes. I know I'm doing great and like everybody is doing pretty well. But we are all having these um, glitches where it's an automatic of moving in life one way. And then because that is no longer viable... It's like a yank back. Um, and so it is completely new. It is completely okay for you to be um, glitching out from time to time or feel like you're just confused and not know where you're going. All you really have to do is breathe and take one step at a time and you don't even need to be in a good place to take that step. You can take that step however you are at that moment. Um, new life. And it's like remembering you're no longer like down in it. And so that which is down in it stays down in it. The effects of the tower have still yet to fully ripple out. But but there are blessings in your promise right through the fog, right? It is it is a rebirth. And it is a release. Focus on taking care of yourself right now. Focus on giving yourself rest. Focus on giving yourself grace. Focus on giving yourself compassion and love and understanding. Because the new beginnings are here. And you have to walk into your new beginnings even as you're walking out of your goodbyes. And I hope that was helpful. I hope that was helpful, Sagittarius. I hope that this helps you with whatever you're going through. And um, I love you. And I hope to see you soon.